Hey everyone, welcome to this special se session on Senna, <laughs> kind of a tongue twister. So we already uh, learned the basics about Senna and as I told you, this is a repeat of a pattern I've already done since the video was not very clear. So let's have fun, right? So today is the first style. We'll be exploring Tangle Senna in each of these sessions and try something new every time. Yeah. So Senna, let us start with our pencil and start with the pattern Senna yeah so I'm just going to roughly make a C shape yeah or you can do without it also this is just for reference and then start right away so starting from here I'm just going to add a curled up line like this moving in the opposite direction again putting some print pressure going back there yeah again putting some pen pressure at the beginning and then going back there now if you want you can create some variation here so create some stems in between yeah, deviate from the usual, add some lickstees probably or you can add anything of your choice. Yeah small little variation again continuing with our sequence this time lines going in between if you want you can extend the lines here like this yeah so that they look woven inside there is a big gap here I did that so that I can add some ops yeah so now let us continue in the same fashion take your time as we talked about, Senna is just about auras, so enjoy the process. There is no other stroke involved excepting the same C stroke or the S shape that you started with. You start with an aura and just keep repeating the same thing. Yeah. Now what I am going to do is ink the small little space in between my big T's so that they become more prominent yeah and they do not get lost in between the so many lines that I am going to be drawing yeah again continuing the same process again Again, you can do the same thing. This time you can add some poke roots. Yeah. Then ink the small little spaces in between or add some more lines whatever you want to yeah again continue the same process add auras yeah 
you can also curl up the auras that's okay and start repeating the curls for example I'll show you like this yeah so there is no hard and fast rule to draw senna it's just that it's all about auras and how beautiful can auras look like I have already shown you the tiles that I drew each time you draw it it looks different you can't really replicate it how can you replicate so many lines yeah so again repeating the same process have fun enjoy the process just go on and on you can also break the lines add highlights even that is possible again add something here mm. probably some leaves yeah so absolutely chill tangle nothing to worry about no matter how you draw it it always looks nice yes I am going to go on and on like this introduce things in between anything I showed you a tile where I wove the tangled diva dance with my senna yeah so you can introduce anything another line of orbs yeah so I'm now starting from here drawn till here and a small little flux section of flux introduced in between right so I'm now starting from here in the same way adding a little weight at the beginning of the line and going a little light-handed as I proceed further repeating my lines right so just auras so you can now create a section again add some flux or any other pattern of your choice so let's add some flux So you have to be patient when you're drawing this tangle because uh, it's just about lines but the final outcome is very beautiful yeah it's a true example of what simple lines mean to zentangle yeah so simple strokes and how they can create this beauties so another section created up to us what do we want to do yeah so let us add some phantom kind of shapes you can add anything of your choice just explore whatever tangles you have learned try them out here placing them in between your senna
Yeah. And then continuing with the auras. Again, put some pen pressure at the beginning. You can see how the pen pressure makes this depth deep kind of the pencil goes deep. Yeah. Again, you can add something here. Anything of your choice, provide probably a bunzo. It's a nice filler, it's a nice standalone pattern, you can use it anyway. Right, again continuing with the auras. So you can see how the auras are changing automatically with the shapes that you are inserting in between. And it looks nice that way only, yeah. You don't have to worry how the auras have to be drawn or how they should be going again you can add something here yeah probably add some weight in between Yeah, simple little things that you can do. Yeah, so let us start from this side now. Add a little curve to our lines. Again, created a section here. You can add simple orbs, triple. Yeah. Just enjoy the process of orying. See how it culminates into your finished style. See how beautiful lines can be. Yeah. Again, create a section. You can add some caviars here. Simple pattern. One orb, another orb, add a highlight, fill up the rest. Looks nice. Yeah. Again, continue the same process. Try adding some beads to some of the lines. That's one more thing that you can do. Decorate the line itself. Yeah, probably I'll do that here also. Convert the simple lines or auras into bead lines. Yeah, so, so many ways to deck it up. This is just one example. You can weave it very easily. I had also shown you a tile where I wove static and diva dance. So you can weave any tangle with Senna very easily. Simple bead lines. Yeah, nice variation. Again, continue with the same process. Add that weight at the beginning. Turn your lines the way 
you want them to turn the way the shapes are forming yeah so if you want you can continue these lines again so you can add some weight here and there that's also one very common way of highlighting your senna adding weight at the ends yeah again you can very comfortably insert a moon pie or a henna drum or a crescent moon anything yeah so so many ways to deck it up just enjoy the process senna is a very relaxing tangle so it's important that you enjoy the process of drawing the pattern more than anything yeah again continuing the same process of adding auras just maneuvering the shape of the auras the way it is taking me yeah so inserting these shapes help you change the direction of your auras yeah so that's senna now let us add a little embellishment here i am going to do a small little exercise pick up my o8 and probably if you want you can draw a circle with a pencil just for your reference an oval actually not a circle exactly like this yeah and then redo it with your bolder nib that is the O8 So you can always draw it straight with your pen that's okay need not be perfect oval so again completing the oval adding a little boldness so that it is little bolder than the lines that are drawn in the background a little not much yeah so it should not merge with the lines already there and that's why a little boldness compared to the background yeah and that's why the o8 otherwise you can use the normal pen and then re-emphasize it yeah so let us first add some shading and then we will see what we want to do with this so senna is generally shaded on this turning that you created using your lines and wherever you have turns peaks and troughs so wherever the lines are repeating there is a curve there is a curl you can always add some you know graphite there again a small little hidden there so yeah more or less that's about it you can add some graphite here some on your embellishments and probably some at the ends yeah so just don't worry about how your senna is going to turn out to be it always turns out good and just enjoy drawing the auras just it's a uh, real meditation when you draw this tangle yeah so just forget but forget about where your lines are going how they are turning out to be 
just enjoy the strokes and go with the flow yeah so I didn't think where which line I just went with the flow here so let's first blend and then see if we want to add some more yeah wherever there is this lines going under lines going over a good idea to highlight those places yeah Blend the edges. your embellishments small little things that you inserted in between yeah and now the center So the center I am going to give a little touch of transcending. So what I will do is add a thick graphite outside the oval that I have drawn. Right. So it, would, it should show. So I am pressing the pencil a bit hard so that it is kind of discreet and marks my inner section like a superimposition on the rest of the tile yeah and then with my jelly roll 08 I'm going to add a thin line inside just to cut off the lines with my border yeah so thin line inside kind of cutting off the lines from my border a little so that it shows like a break in the lines and the inner section is like a superimposition on the rest of the tile a simple exercise of transcending yeah so yeah that's about it you don't need to do anything else I'm just going to blend the outer graphite just blur it don't pull it out too much you have already shaded the outside so you just need to blur it where it is don't pull it too much soften it And we are about done. Nothing else required. If you want, you can add highlights with your chalk. So you can highlight this section of your senna. Since there is a plunge here, so it's always good to highlight the other part. You can add some here. Entirely up to you. Choice is yours. 
you want to add some highlights here and there probably little curves small little curves not much required actually yeah I think we are done with our tile a touch of grey here some whites here you can highlight here you can highlight the panzo you can darken the edges of the panzo so they are small so I didn't do much but you can yeah adds more depth yeah that's about it so that's Senna our tile for today yeah we will do some more sessions on this pattern and hope you are enjoying yeah have a good time bye bye see you again